Hey, this is Joshua with New Review, coming at you with a review on Rooster Teeth's newest animated series, Camp Camp. Camp Camp follows the adventures, or more aptly described misadventures, of uh, Nikki, Max, and uh, Neil, and their fellow denizens at Camp Campbell, including the, uh, the uh, camp counselors of Gwen and David. Um, Camp Campbell is a camp that has an adventure camp, a science camp, a behavioral correction camp, an extreme sports camp, and on and on. Uh, so each uh, individual character is pretty much there for a specific camp that they were signed up for. The only unique one there is Max, because we have no idea why he's there. Uh, he claims in the first episode that his parents just dumped him at Camp Campbell. Um... And we've and the show itself is a, a Rooster Teeth production. It first aired last year, and their second season has been airing this year every Friday. Um, and it is a two D animation. Uh, I've heard it described as the uh, characters are two D puppets, um, and it's a very interesting show. Um, it has some very well drawn out characters. Um, for instance. Max is this like angry character voiced by uh, Michael Jones, so it's basically like every other Michael Jones character. Some version of Michael Jones, only in this case, Max is a lot smarter than Michael is. Um, not that he's dumb, it's just is a little bit more uh, going on in Max's head. Um, part of the early shtick uh, of his character was that he tried to kill David. Um, who is voiced by Miles Luna, who is one of the writers. Obviously that didn't happen, um, but he's basically the angry character. Um, but there's also a few other layers. He uh, also is just trying to adapt to what, he's, what is around him. Uh, and yeah, um, Neil is the brainy science kid. He was there for science camp. Um, and when he got there, he was not impressed because the beakers were literally made out of wood. Um, and science camp was basically like a stand with the word science camp on a sign above it. So, um, he was taken under the wing of Max. They kind of got a, a kind of formed a friendship. And so it's a very interesting relationship to have. And then the third main character is Nikki who was there for Adventure Camp. And she's a very precocious little, little character. Uh, she can go from one extreme of running on all fours and acting like a dog to throwing mud at a camp counselor. Now, so she's a very interesting character. She also used to be part of Camp Camp Universe's version of the Girl Scouts, the Flower Scouts. They're very girly. They have a camp on the lake that Camp Campbell's also on. Um, but she obviously clashed. Um, she's very tomboyish, very adventurous, very uh, crazy. Um, and these two characters are voiced by professional voice actors who are known for the anime and video game work. Uh, Yuri Lowenthal plays uh, Neil, and Elizabeth Maxwell plays Nikki. Um, and it's really interesting uh, watching these three characters interact with each other. Um, there are also a lot of other background characters, uh, and they have varying levels of exploration that they've done. They have two magic kids, one who's there for like, being a magician, the other one's there for fantasy, gaming, I guess. Um, and they're both fairly well developed. Um, one got a little bit more developed this season, uh, but again, it's very interesting how they've created these characters and molded them. Um, most episodes follow the main three with the inclusion of David, um, but sometimes they will go off and focus on a side character like uh, Arid, uh, who is the extreme sports camp uh, uh, camper. Um, they may need a little bit more fleshing out there because she just seems like this one note I'm super cool character. And then they also have the typical punching bag character who is Space Kid, voiced by Lindsay Tuggy. Uh, Jones, Lindsay Jones. Forgot that she's married for a second there. Um, but 
that character, I think, needs a little bit more fleshing out because it seems like a fairly interesting uh, uh, character that they could do something very cool with. Um, and they have done a lot of exploration of uh, Dolph. Well, the German character voiced by James Willems, who is very Hitler-esque. Um, and it's very funny when they do stuff with him. Blaine Gibson also voices uh, the bull the camp of bully Nerf, who's there for behavioral correction camp. And he's very like intellectual, like he's very self-reflective in why he's there and understands. Um, and this show is very episodic in nature. Um, there's only one th one episode that directly led into another, and that was the last two episodes of this first season. Um, otherwise, things that happen in one episode don't really have much bearing on what happens in later episodes. There are gags or through lines that follow through, but otherwise it's very, this thing happened this day, this episode, and now this new episode is going to do another thing. Um, and it's fairly interesting. It's on. Uh, it's posted to their website every Friday, new episodes, and then other episode like week episodes that are a week older are posted to their YouTube channel. Um, so you guys should check it out. It's very interesting. Um, and I'd like to see how they go from here to see to uh, to uh, future um, endeavors with it. Uh, this is Josh Bazeller with New Review signing off.